hello and welcome to my channel i'm in unity and i'm gonna show you how to create a simple torch this is a very advanced torch guys with a nice swaying on the movement okay i'm gonna use a script in this tutorial so i'm not gonna talk much there's no commentary in this tutorial you just need to follow these easy steps guys I'm, i promise you you'll have an, a very nice advanced torch to use in your your games and in your horror games and stuff like that okay so i'm importing a first person character you need a um, standard assets for that you need to import the standard assets and i'm just going to position the camera on the y axis on the x and the y in the z axis okay let me just unpack the character okay as you can see there at the bottom guys the green lining that means that is the cubicle your uh, collision box for your character if it's uh, fading away it means it's stuck into the floor it's clipping you need to move the character up i'm gonna go to the first person controller i'm gonna create the empty okay i'm gonna rename this empty to flash light holder okay flash light holder that is going to be the empty's name my name is 3D Mesh Tutorials, I'm in Unity and I'm showing you how to create an advanced torch for your horror game. Okay, this is going to be a part series guys, I'm going to create the horror game for you guys in this uh, uh, game engine. Okay, so let me just import a spotlight. You need to create a spotlight. Okay, I'm gonna change the range to 50, spotlight to 50 and the intensity also to 1.25, that should be sufficed. Okay. If you are following this tutorial in itself, well, please smack that like button. Let's see how it plays out. As you can see there, the light is following the camera, but that is not what you want. You want the camera to, uh, you want the flashlight to follow the camera 24/7. Okay, that's not gonna happen because that is not the type of uh, effect I want for my flashlight. I'm gonna show you guys. Since this is an empty object, let me just rename the spotlight to flashlight. Okay, so I won't get confused. There you go. The flashlight is an object of a flashlight holder. Okay. So, Arin, um, just put your first person camera on main camera. If you have another camera in your scene, you need to delete that camera. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, let me just go to assets. Fetch the script. Okay, I'm gonna go to scripts. Let me just see something. Okay. I did. I, I just. I just detached the camera from the first person controller so that it can be on its own standalone empty. Okay, let me just lift up the spotlight. Position it right. Okay. So click on the flashlight holder, go to assets, scripting. Let me just find the advanced camera. Offset flash. Okay, I'm gonna go for the off offset flashlight. That is for the movement. You can have a nice swing on the camera. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. I'm gonna play and have a look if it works. As you can see guys, there's a nice sway with your camera. The camera is following the... The flashlight is following, following the camera, sorry. Um, but it, 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 it is a delay. There's a bit of a delay as you can see. Okay. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you want to download the script. Okay. As you can see, there's your flashlight. And... Uh, flashlight is following your your camera okay i'm gonna go back to assets flashlight holder gonna go to flashlight okay gonna put it on soft zero quality i'm gonna put it on high resolution you don't need to do this, this is just optional guys, because I'm creating a game at the end of the day, I'm so much setting up my environment, okay? Because you know, a project is very big, sometimes you forget, you don't come back and check on your game, on the other assets and settings you did. Okay, I'm just looking for a cookie guys, I know the standard assets is a default cookie. Um, if I can just find a cookie that can, that will give a nice realistic, uh, um, halo effect on your 
on your flashlight okay I think I must must search it I think I'm gonna search it in the search bar it's gonna be the only way for me to find that that cookie no cookie here no cookie here as you can see okay I'm gonna search cookie and there's the cookie okay I'm just gonna go to the flashlight click on flashlight and go to the script and just drag and drop the cookie on top of cookie okay where you see the name cookie all right go back to assets I'm gonna play and I'm gonna have a look at the there you go guys there you have your flashlight the advanced flashlight with some nice swaying effect a delay effect okay more realistic flashlight this I like this flashlight guys if you like this tutorial please make that like button if it's your first time here my name is 3D Miss Tutorials I make tutorials on how to create games 3D models and all of that awesome stuff so subscribe to my channel ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you whenever I upload the next part of the series I'm creating a horror game and I'm showing you how to create a flashlight that is the first uh, part of the series the second part I'm gonna show you how to pick up battery real this uh, follow up I'm gonna show you how to add a battery put some ui on the screen battery ui like when the battery is going down and all of that okay and i'm also gonna show you how you can um, implement a flashlight going on trigger and off trigger with an f button okay guys so please if you like this video smack that like button if it's helpful subscribe to my channel if it's your, if it's your first time here okay i'm not gonna uh, have, have a lot to say i'm just gonna get into this tutorial like i said they have added the flashlight script and I'm, i had to fill up that flashlight script as you can see there's the flashlight now i need to create a text and a battery text okay guys so let's get into this tutorial my name is 3 dms tutorials and i'm showing you how to create a flashlight in a horror game
Okay, my name is 3D Mess Tutorials. There's the torch, as you can see, I put the halo also on it. It's a cookie. You need to download the standard SS product if you want to get this cookie, guys. Okay, but I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download the script and also the cookie image. Okay, so let me get into this uh, tutorial. Oh, yes, guys, and another thing, uh, I just want to show you something. Okay, I'm gonna switch on the torch with the F key and I want you to look at the screen UI on the battery meter it's going down as you can see I'm losing power when I switch the torch the flashlights on okay and there I'm resetting the torch light I'm putting new batteries in as you can see I have no more batteries so I'm now reloading batteries but nothing happened so we need to uh, pick up batteries for the torch so that the torch can be recharged okay the flashlight sorry guys i keep on saying torch i don't know why um let me just go to the hierarchy okay let me save this uh, project before i do anything okay guys my name is 3d mr tutorials i'm gonna go to the model folder and i'm just gonna add a bat some batteries uh, battery models okay as you can see there's the batteries it's 3d model you don't have a 3d model of batteries guys you can uh, go to the description down in this video i will leave a link to this model okay so let me just position the batteries much further away from the character so that we can uh, view it from a distance as we approach the batteries okay i'm gonna add a audio uh, box collider sorry and i'm gonna put the trigger east trigger on i'm gonna select the trigger on okay so i'm gonna go back to the hierarchy let me just play and show you guys nothing is gonna happen as you can see nothing is happening because um, we need to add a script to this battery battery pickup script okay that's the battery that's gonna recharge the torch okay as you can see we have no battery life anymore i used all the battery life now i can't be i'm not i'm unable to pick up batteries okay so let's just go back to the assets i'm gonna go to the public script and i'm gonna go to battery pickup and i'm just going to drag and drop the battery pickup script on the battery there you go now we need to assign to i need to assign a text ui and a sound audio source okay so i'm just gonna copy this file duplicate and i'm gonna rename it to pickup battery pickup okay i'm just renaming this empty the back battery pickup okay enter there you go now i need the sound source as you can see i can just drag the sound source um, battery pickup sound pick up battery pickup sound am i blind No, it's not that one. There you go. Pick up. I'm just gonna drag and drop. No, this is sound. I need to go to. Nope. Audio clip pick up okay i just changed it to pick up audio pick source pick up um let's go to the battery battery pick up
I must put the button input so we need to put more I'm gonna put two more okay let's go with one and I'm gonna rename it to interact okay and I'm gonna use the E key okay you need to assign a key so that we can interact with the battery okay guys so let's close up that go back to the hierarchy text and we're gonna add we're gonna put pick up just put the text pick up there in the text uh, section okay I'm gonna resize it to 50 let's play there you can see pick up the pick up text I'm gonna change the color to white okay let's just make that a a child of the empty okay there we have the pick up but the text is supposed to be gone as soon as you press play I want the text to disappear so I need to go to first person okay guys make sure first person is set on main camera if you have another camera in your scene please delete that camera okay I'm gonna go to pick up and I'm gonna change the color to white okay Let's change it to white play see how it looks there you go it is more visible okay but like I said I want the text to show whenever I hover over the batteries okay so there's some work to do my name is 3 d Tutorials if you like this video so far please smack that like button if it's your first time Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. This is a series and now I show you how to create a advanced torch and I'm busy with the horror game. Okay. So I need to add some scripts into this uh, uh, game, game port. The scene. Let me just go over to the character quickly. The first person character. Okay. Okay, almost there. There you go. First person controller. And I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a 3D object. A cube. Okay, I'm gonna use this cube as a recast guys. I'm not gonna use a script. I'm just gonna use this uh, uh, as a reach object I'm gonna show you just follow these steps and I will show you how to create a reach object so that you can pick up and interact with your items accurately it's more realistic okay so let me just position the cube on top of the camera and I need to resize it okay gonna make it smaller let me just make it smaller Right. I want it like a stick figure so that it can point out in front of the camera that is going to be the reach distance okay I'm gonna show you just give me a few minutes there you go okay I think it is long enough let me just move it to the front make it smaller thinner okay move it to the front now okay I think that's good I'm just gonna move it to the front lower it a little okay just position it nicely in front of the first person camera uh, character okay scale it a little bit more like that okay a reach distance right we're gonna go to project settings and I need to add another another input and this what this time I'm gonna call it 
reach tool and I'm gonna use the E key okay it's the reach tool let's close up the input manager uh, console what is going on let's just clear that play and see how it works out guys if everything works out right I hope so there you see the text as you can see press E to pick up there's the torch I'm putting on the torch there your battery is gone and you added an uh, energy you added a battery to your battery uh, 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 inventory and as you can see the power is going down down I need to press R to reload batteries let's see if it works R and there's a hundred percent guys it works guys my name is 3D Mr. Tutorial showing you how to create a torch picking up your torch switching your torch on and off putting sound and all of that awesome stuff there's your battery I'm just going to duplicate this battery put it on a few uh, areas so I can show you when you pick it up you're gonna have more than one battery that you can pick up guys you can implement anything on this battery you don't need to use batteries you can use anything books whatever type of item you are looking for you know I like hide and seek games picking up stuff and all of that awesome stuff okay as you can see there is your torch the advanced torch we created in the first part this is part three guys you need to watch the other videos if you don't know what's going on okay i'm picking up the batteries with the e key it's hiding as you can see everything works out perfectly there's the last batteries there i have three batteries and uh, my battery life is on 100 i just uh, reloaded the battery let's let it give it time let it go down before re we reload another day i reloaded another battery let it go down let's wait wait a minute there yeah, I reloaded the last battery guys so now I'm just trying to reload but nothing happened so we need to pick up more batteries okay this tutorial is done guys I'm, I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video where I can show you how to create this horror game okay I'm gonna import the house the horror house the model and I'm gonna show you how to set it up okay thank you for watching this video my name is 3 d Mesh Tutorial smack that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one this is Unity and I'm showing you how to create a horror game. This was a flashlight and I hope to see you in the next video.